what is up YouTube this is Zilla um, showing you guys today the new software for the Elgato capture card um, I have an Elgato HD 60 there's a couple of things on here that's a little bit different than the old capture card I'll show you guys that in this video um, first off the first thing you're going to notice is uh, the stream command uh, this stream command bar is the new uh, software update um, and wh what it does basically is uh, it allows you to have an overlay, um, it allows you to put a webcam, um, so that way when you're streaming on Twitch or uh, m maybe YouTube, uh, wherever you guys stream, um, people can see you while you play. That's a big thing when you play, uh, you want to be seen. So um, first thing is uh, how, you, how you get to that is um, the settings. So you're going to go up here to the main settings, this main little uh, wheel and enable stream command that'll need to be turned on um, it does require a pretty decent computer if you don't have uh, it, it says uh, i7 processor better but that's not necessarily true I'm, I know a lot of people that have i5 processors or you could have an AMD um, X series FX series processor that would work pretty well I have an AMD FX uh, 8350 and it works really good so um, also, there's a few other tabs. There's a sharing tab uh, allows you to connect to Twitter, Facebook, everything. Um, also lets you export your webcam to a separate video file if you're recording. Um, also, uh, your live commentary, you can uh, export that to a separate audio file as well. And then, of course, just the automatic updates. Um, down here, how you work the stream command. Um, all you do is, uh, it's very simple, you go to edit scenes, um, you'll add for a webcam or a picture of whatever, uh, for instance, um, I'll just show you guys, add webcam, boom, we're live, here we are. Uh, but you can also uh, add a pic, put a put an overlay or something, so like, uh, um, this is mine right here, don't say those settings, save scene. There we go. We got you, got you have your overlay. You just select it. You can move everything around. Um, anytime you want to edit, you can move this. Uh, you can put things in front, behind. It's, uh, it's, it's really easy. It's really nice. It's really convenient. Um, the only flaws I would say with this is there is an audio delay for your webcam. So if you're recording um, and you're streaming like on Twitch, I would say I'd stream on Twitch. I hooked it up to this live stream section here connected it to Twitch um, and started recording but I noticed that while I was recording I would have my my voice would say something and then about three seconds later my actions would do it my mouth would move it was like a, a bad Chinese movie so they don't have anything that I know of uh, to fix this right away um, I'm sure there's going to be something in a in a new update that can fix it, that maybe can add a video delay or, or should I say audio delay. Um, right now when I stream on Twitch I use OBS um, and they have a ability for audio delay. I would really like to use this because I mean I mean, it's really nice. Um, there's a lot of settings to adjust. You can click here, um, your capture settings. So with the HD60 something that's different is it allows 60 frames per second one but also there's an analog audio so on the back of your um, HD60 there's an analog audio port because the new Xbox One uh, doesn't allow you to enable game chat and voice chat at the same time so um, in order for you to be able to hear your friends uh, while you're streaming for everyone so it doesn't seem like you're talking to yourself um, what you do is on the back of, I have Astro A40s, and on the 2013 mix amp, there is a stream auxiliary port. Um, you just connect that into the back of the HD60 cap card, and boom, you can hear everybody. It's great. Um, the picture, I don't don't really mess with that. Same with audio, just kind of left it where it was. You know, I mean, you can adjust it as you want. And this advanced the TV compatibility. That's mainly, uh, I wouldn't mess with it unless uh, you're playing Xbox and you notice it, your screen keeps going blank or it's weird pixelated lines are going across it, then you can switch that up a little bit. Um, also, there's a live commentary option now. So um, if you want to stream 
and com have a commentary, um, you just click this button here. It would capture your audio. Um, you can choose whatever source you want. If you have an external microphone like a Yeti or something, I just use my uh, my Astros. Um, also, it allows you to put tags and a video title in. You press this, and you can change whatever you want. So it's really nice. It's really convenient. It's really good capture card. Everyone uses it. Um, I, w I would really suggest it to anyone out there. Also, just like the regular ones, I mean, you can take screenshots. Um, you can go to full screen. And uh, as far when you're capturing, you never have to keep the the capture on. Like you don't have to you don't have to always be capping. So you can any any time as long as the program is open, you can just you can go back in time and it'll record. And then you can press the capture and it'll record anything up to date. So, but you need a video title. Apparently, I didn't know that. So make sure you guys have that in here. Um, all right, well, thank you guys for watching this video. Like, um, subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, put in the comment. I'll answer any, any questions, any videos you guys want me to make. Um, just let me know. And all right, Zill out.